Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, you are a fan of boneless chicken wings, right? Uh, I guess, yeah. You know, who doesn't who doesn't like a, a nice a warmed piece of chicken flesh in their mouth to eat and devour? Right. Sauced up. Right, right. Exactly. You know, you know what I'm saying? Sauced up. Um, so the question I have for you uh-huh. is, say you're eating a boneless wing. Oh, okay, okay. And a piece of it goes down the wrong way. What are we, where, okay, where are we going with this? And, and, and you're like, oh man, that was weird. You know, like sometimes oh. you're eating stuff and it goes down the wrong tube. That was weird. And then That's what you, I say. you end up like feeling weird and you end up going to the hospital. No, I've never done this. And you find out that there was a chicken bone in the boneless nugget, and it got caught in your throat and got infected. Do you think, like, what you would have a case? Hell? What the hell? Do you have a case? Yes. Okay, why? I was under the assumption that these did not have the item because they're literally called boneless. Like, you can't advertise something that's boneless and it has bones in it. People go into it with a whole different etiquette of eating. I agree. Like, if you gave me, like, cold iced coffee and then you handed me a hot cup of coffee, mother, I got a case. Right. What are you talking about? You said I specifically ordered iced coffee. You gave me hot coffee. So a court in Ohio yep. has ruled that he did not have a case. That's insane. They said that quote unquote boneless wings refers to a cooking style. No. And that he should have been on guard against bones because it's common knowledge that chickens have bones. That's insane. That is insane. <laughs> Do you hear the words coming out of your mouth? I agree. You deliver me a product called boneless wings. Normal wings have bones. Cool. Like I said, the whole iced coffee. Okay, thank you. I'm taking the iced coffee. You deliver me hot coffee. Take a big old sip. I burn my tongue. (laughs) Do you have a case? No, it's commonly known that coffee is hot. S my D. All right. <laughs> S my big black F and D. All right. I said it. I'll say it again. You can't do that. You can't. Dude, I agree. Like, I like, I mean, I, I see the point. Cause like, if you order, like if you order fish at a restaurant, right. You're going to assume the fish is going to come without bones. Not if they and, say it's boneless fish. And then sometimes it does have a little bone. I bought boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And there's been like a piece of bone still attached to the, to not breast, thighs. And there's still been a piece of bone attached. And right? you didn't sue? No, I didn't eat it. I saw it. I caught it. It was hard. Like this, what I'm imagining this is, is like a sliver of a bone, like almost like a fish bone. It's really thin and just like a piece. Uh, uh. And homeboy, here's the other thing. Homeboy's probably eating this like popcorn chicken. He's just like throwing whole nugs down his throat. Well, you think he's just throating nugs? He's throating nugs My man with his garlic get, parmesan sauce. He's just getting a hock to it to the chicken bones? He's hock to in the bones? Oh, Dude, God. I hate that, that he, I said uh, that. I hate that I said it that. It says uh, he also named the suit against the supplier and the farm that produced the chicken. Okay. Well, you know what? Look, you got to get your money somehow. I'm he's not like, mad if at I that. sue enough people... I'm going to get my money. That's, I mean, look, you're going to get something out of it. So he's, is he getting anything? It's the question. Uh, it didn't say. I don't think so because they ruled against him That's because it's insane. a cooking style. I, I don't agree with this whole it being a cooking style because if what how is it a cooking a cooking style? Explain like you can't even explain to me. Nobody can explain to me. Let me see if I, can, if I can corporate show here for a moment. How boneless chicken is a cooking style. Boneless chicken refers to chicken meat that is breaded like an adult chicken nugget and deep fried it is not a full arm of a chicken dropped into grease like a bone in chicken like a bone in I, okay I, I get that then why are we hitting it with this weird wordature huh because uh, like because why want to pay money bro no here's the thing it's like there's a such thing as a bait and switch all right 
We are aware of this. This is where a company will advertise one price. And then when you get there, there's additional uh, pricing added. Now, the same thing goes when you offer a product as well. If you say that you have a certain product, but when you arrive there, the product is different than what was initially advertised, right. there's an issue. So this goes as far as when it comes to naming products. You cannot name something 100% pure if it is not pure. You cannot name something kosher if it's not kosher. kosher, if it's not kosher. Yeah. You can't name something boneless if I'm choking and getting throat infections, <laughs> you infected my throat with your bone. Get your bone out of my throat. Thank you. <laughs> TNT. Is, would, could you almost call them thrones? I'm not laughing at that. I refuse <laughs> to do it. I refuse. I don't even get it. <laughs> I don't. Throat bones, mofo. Oh, throat. Okay, I got thrones. you. Thrones. Got myself a throne. You no, got it. Doctor said I need a throat anatomy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. Oh, I, that's why I just eat bone-in chicken. Because I know there's a bone in it and I'd watch out. No. I, I feel like I should be able to enjoy a boneless wing, a chicken tender, and not have to experience. <laughs> like, what the hell are we talking about? Like, if there was a bone in my chicken tender and I bite down and I get a bone, I, like, chip a tooth or, like puncture my palate, my soft palate, yeah, I'm going to have a freaking problem. We're going to be talking to the manager. I'm at least going to get a free meal out of the he deal. He didn't know. He got infected. This is what I'm saying. My man's playing hospital bills over here. Somebody's got to handle that. See, okay, I feel it, they should at least cover the hospital bills. At the very least. Like, if homeboy, like, if he, if he went and they're like, oh, yeah, you got a bone in your neck. But how do they know that it was from that, not from something else? Maybe he, at home he's just eating chicken bones. I mean, you're not even wrong. It ain't like it had a whole chicken leg bone inside. It was just like it was like a it was like a, a leg, a chicken leg bone, just with like a nugget wrapped around it. He just well, looks good to me. He just threw it down his just, throat. And just made it at home. And, yeah, he made it at home. He's like, let me get some teeth in here. Um, <laughs> and some that's chicken weird. teeth. That's yeah. weird. That's, chickens don't have teeth. I don't think do they? I don't think so. They have beaks. Chicken beak. But uh, yeah, dude. I don't know. I I feel like. There's a lot of frivolous lawsuits out here, but I don't feel like this is one. You, you're you on his side, is I, what you're saying. I kind of am. I kind of am, too. Because, like, yeah, you make, I mean, it's a very valid point. If you were, like, if they were, like, feather-free nuggets and there was feathers sticking out of them and I got a feather in my throat. And then they're like, hey, I'm sorry, chickens have feathers. I would punch <laughs> the judge in the mouth. I would seriously punch that judge in the motherfucking mouth. I would. Now, take this to the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. one of them I mean, that was, it. I think it was the Ohio Supreme Court. Yeah, the Ohio Supreme Court. Insanity. Yeah, they said the the high court says sided with the lower lower courts had dismissed his case, and then he took it to the higher court. Do, do we not see, is that, I don't know. You know what, I'm not going to get into politics, but uh, those groups, that group of people, that, that group of Supreme Court members are nuts. The Ohio Supreme Court, you're nuts. That man 100% has a case. I don't know if necessarily, like, if there's something about him, like, you know, going home and, like, living weeks with this chicken bone and then it getting infected and him not seeking the medical attention, sure. There's a whole bunch of stipulations. We do not know the whole story. But from what I'm hearing is that my man went to the place, ate a chicken nugget, a boneless chicken wing, got a bone, infected himself, got infected with bone rot, and now he can't. <laughs> bone? Bone rot. And now Is that what he's got? I don't know. And now he can't get his his hospital bill comped. That's problematic <laughs> to me. And I think it needs to have a second looking at. I mean, well, he got he got nothing but some court, some lawyer bills. So that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to the crazy Subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep. Yeah.